you know, oftentimes schools uh, just get relegated to focusing on one thing and we don't even do that one thing well, but we've decided that in order to do that one thing well, we need to do like the larger thing. And that's just really caring for people. Uh, when I first started superintendent, did a bunch of empathy tours, was eating in people's homes, food that I didn't, you know, I had no way of verifying if it was good or not, but uh, but we did it. We were in barber shops and beauty salons. We got really entrenched in the community and we just did a lot of listening, just a lot of listening and learning. Uh, and, and what I learned is that this community really has a strong ownership of our schools. And yet the problems that we're trying to solve are much larger than the school district can solve. So one of the things that we did was we wrote a big grant and we got funding to do some collective impact work. So in terms of us trying to meet the needs of both all of both our students and our community, uh, and then this idea of wanting to create ownership of the work uh, of, of the whole child, whole family work, uh, we created a, an, uh, a separate entity um, from the school, uh, this North Star Partnership. And we brought together the two cities that we serve, City of DeSoto, City of the Glen Heights, uh, we brought together uh, the major university in our area, University of North Texas at Dallas, and we brought together uh, Methodist Charlton Hospital, a large hospital in our in our in our uh, in our area, uh, and then we brought Dallas Behavioral Health uh, and a bunch of other partners, and we created this North Star. So we do some collective impact work, uh, and and what what we all discovered was that in order for kids to be wildly successful academically. We have to make sure that their families, the home environments, the things that the school system generally does not care for is able to care for. So, and one of the goals that we have is actually to purchase property in our community because we, we have a number of families that sometimes are left homeless or um, for whatever reason, you know, they, they are not able to stay in their, lo in, in their locations. And we wanna be able to provide uh, instead of, you know, renting out rooms with local hotels, we wanna just pr provide some housing assistance um, that is kind of jointly owned for a very specific purpose. So really trying to think outside of the, of, of the box um, in terms of what are all the factors that can get in the way of kids learning if we don't solve for them and then try to solve for them with a bunch of folks. They got a lot of more, uh, a lot more money than we do in other resources. So I think that's our like our larger macro approach to how we're looking to, to solve here. 